Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. So as you can see today we're covering every single easter egg discovered in World's Edge so far and all the mysteries that are still unsolved because there are a lot and in this video you're going to see some stuff that you won't have seen before unless I've posted it in other locations because I've been trying to figure this out just as much as everyone else is. But basically in King's Canyon we had an absolutely amazing quite big easter egg where if you shot these little Nessie toys toys in a certain order you could create well you could summon basically a giant Nessie that would appear out of the water and it was just that little stuffed like toy in large but it was still a really cool side easter egg to summon like a, a sea monster from the depths and we're hoping there's one of these in World's Edge. A lot of us are all hunting around the map right now just trying to find a few of the final uh, Yuki pictures or other hidden items because we think there might actually actually be some form of giant yeti easter egg in this map and we're all looking for it so as i said we're going to go over all the mysteries right now and i'm going to fill you in on every single little detail you need to know about world's edge when it comes to the easter egg so the first one is Yuki. This is the dog picture you've probably been seeing all over Reddit and in different locations. And Yuki is basically a dog that was owned by Rodney Reese. Rodney Reese is one of the developers of Apex Legends. I actually met him in LA when, as a game changer. It was a really cool experience. Um, but he basically had Yuki for 16 years and Yuki passed away during the making of World's Edge. And just like they had a, another memento towards a dog that passed away during the making of King's Canyon. Rodney Reese wanted to essentially do the same thing in World's Edge and Yuki were, will forever be remembered because of these little Easter eggs. I think that's an amazing little touch. So essentially we have found 12 pictures around the map like so far. There's three which belong to the actual shrine you can find in the top left section of the map. You've got to climb up a small cliff to the right of the two supply bins you find in this little cave area and you'll find a little like two like metal pallets or something with three little yuki pictures leaned up against them now these three yuki pictures basically represent pictures that we can find around the map now we have found four of the end picture on the right we're going to call this red yuki because i've created a map basically of all of them and you can see we found four of him around the map there's one at the top in the train station at skyhook the main one is in the actual loot room just below train yard you can see him when you look up inside like a gap in the ceiling and then down at the sorting factory you can find him in the top floor of the offices um, basically above the actual train station and in capital city you can find the fourth version of him just inside a staircase on the bottom floor now the black and white Yuki on the left, we're going to call him Blue Yuki, he is in Skyhook and you can find him in like just the actual medical labs just on the right side against the reception desk. In Capital City you can find him in that opened area skyscraper building um, where it's got like all the cooking kitchen areas and then you can find the main like, we call in the main ones because they're in the loot rooms. You can see the Blue Yuki in the loot room at the geyser again up in the gaps and then you've got the final yellow yuki and we've only found two of him one at fuel depot on the top floor next to the bed of a small little house and then you've got the actual loot room yuki where he's next to the lava city now the thing is we've only found two yellow three blue four red now that could be it but we suspect there's four of each of the yuki so we're still looking for two yellow and we're still looking for one blue if this is like the end of the easter egg if it's already been solved we're not sure because we suspect it like all the pictures line up and point an arrow leading to the shrine yuki area and this has two supply bins that essentially give you guaranteed purple armor so we're thinking that that is like the easter egg solved it creates an arrow leading you to those supply bins but that might not be the end of it we're still trying to find more pictures to figure it all out the best thing to do at the moment is to search on like as you can see the map here you search on the white lined areas any houses around there because that's where they're most likely going to be around according to the pattern we believe at the moment um but yeah considering yuki passed away at the age of 16 we actually think there might be 16 
photos in total but that's just my own personal theory um, just as like a little memento for every year but yeah moving on to number two capital city basically has a lot of road names and some of these are actual names of developers so you've got senior writer Manny Hagabian I am really sorry for my pronunciations I'm ignorant as hell um, and then you've also got narrative lead character lead Mohammed Alavi they've both got street names very close together the north end of capital city you can actually find one section where both the names are on the actual same little post area now number three new dawn so basically you saw this in the actual trailer for world's edge and if you go to the north end of the map you've got this welcome to new dawn building a brighter future sign and it's been graffitied over so it now says meltdown and there's a few little like names and tags around it that I, i'm pretty sure like all of these are easter eggs in some way that we just don't know of but one of them in the top right corner has been solved and it says captain dingus for 20 essentially now this according to shout out to frozen fro one of reddit's like amazing researchers on this game according to frozen fro's knowledge this goes as far back as to play testing of apex legends before launch where captain dingus 420 was a name on the concept art you can also see it on pathfinders official art behind crypto just in the distance you see like a bloodhound banner and it says captain dingus 420 now number four random names around the map this is another new mysterious one that not many people are covering at the moment and you guys most likely won't have seen it yourself unless you saw my reddit post but i'm 99 sure these are easter eggs that people just aren't focusing on at the moment these are some kind of names that are hidden around the map the reason i think they're easter eggs is because say luncheon and m takano these are only in those locations. If you go to the exact same environment in a different location, those names are no longer there. And the fact is, these names all have the exact same font. They're all capitalized. They're just like different sizes. And they're all in very like minuscule hidden locations. So you've got Ikizzle. Ikizzle is the only one that is at multiple locations. And you can find this behind the plants in every medical labs. And the reason I think it's part of these other two, Lankan uh, Lanchon, or however you pronounce it, and M. Takano, is because it has the same font and the same style. It's just a lot bigger. I think these names are, it's either a name or a code of some sort, a reference that we just have yet to figure out, some kind of little like Easter egg that developers have put in to reference someone or to give us a code that we need to figure out. But moving on to the final one, and this is the big Yeti Easter egg that we're hoping is going to come similar from King's Canyon like we had with the big Nessie monster. Now, essentially around the map at the moment, people have been hearing Yeti roars and and if you actually look at one of Rafe's banners, she has two Yetis on her banner. Plus, we got the Yeti charm in the battle pass with Season 3. So there's a lot of people believing we, we do have a Yeti monster somewhere. And I have been searching all around respawn beacons, just like you had in Kings Canyon, the little fluffy toys. I've been looking for a little white Yeti teddy bear somewhere. Um, but yeah, the noises can not really be pinpointed. A lot of them aren't 360 surround sound they're just like environmental sound so when the noise happens you'll turn but the noise won't turn with you it will always sound like it's coming from your right no matter where you turn now there are a few other little easter eggs around the map for instance the last Emosa books this is a throwback to titanfall so i would technically say this is an easter egg but because this is just an object that appears all around the map and literally in nearly all freaking buildings it it's so common and it's not hidden or anything that it almost doesn't become an easter egg but because it is still a reference you can still technically count it as an easter egg but as i said a lot of these are still unsolved we've got the random names hidden in areas we've got the yuki dog shrine pictures that we're not sure is completely solved and we think there's still a loch ness type world's edge easter egg but with a yeti so 
Everyone, we need to get on this hunt. Let me know any little detail, even noises, things like that, that you may think you've heard, because we need to figure this out. I want to see that giant yeti, or yeah, I, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase, but um, you know what I mean. Like, come on, we're going to be searching for ages, and then if we end up not finding anything, that's going to be crazy. If any of the devs are watching, please, the entire community has hit a wall, and this, this has been a wall for, like, weeks weeks now so please give us some kind of riddle some kind of clue to get us back on that hunt but other than that i hope everyone watching enjoyed the video like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll catch you on the next one peace